blessings and welcome to the channel this is lady be unstoppable this video is gonna give you an update regarding the students who were in ukraine listen and watch a video till the end drop a like drop a share and if you're new make sure you subscribe watch the video till the end Jamaicans and friends of Jamaica who have been following and praying for students in Ukraine. Uh, by now you'd know that uh, they were safely transported from the border to a hotel in Krakow where they still are now. Uh, the charge is there with them. She met with them earlier and was able to ascertain some of their most immediate needs and we were able to resource her to go and get some warm clothes and that kind of thing. You know it's been a very trying time. Uh, we will be providing them with a small subsistence so that the personal items that it might be more appropriate for them to get themselves uh, that they'll be able to secure those and of course uh, when they are flying out if there are delays on the flight out that they'll be able to deal with food and drink on their way out so on the matter of flights we've booked uh, flights through Frankfurt into Montego Bay and we've arranged transportation from Montego Bay to Kingston for those who need it uh, we've also liaised with the Ministry of Health to ensure that counseling will be available for those who wish it um, not on spot, but at the time that they might feel best able to, to process and to, to have those discussions. Uh, as you know, most of them were uh, hesitant to leave because they were worried about their studies. Uh, we had engaged UA early in, in this process. We'll re-engage them to see if there's any possibility at all of accommodation. And we'll also reach out to bilateral partners to see if they have any programs in place which will be seeking to accommodate uh, students who have been disrupted in um, from their studies in Ukraine specifically. Uh, there are no guarantees, of course, uh, but there may well be, and we will explore them. In respect of the three students who didn't disembark uh, in Lviv, I just wanted to update you that uh, two are safe in a location in Ukraine that their mothers have determined is appropriate for them to stay at this time. And uh, uh, one is in Romania where we have uh, secured some support for her on that side. Uh, so she is safely accommodated as well and will make her way out in due course. Um, we just encourage you to keep praying for them, for their strength, their resilience, to give thanks for it as well. And of course, um, as Jamaicans, we will always be indomitable. We will always survive and we will always thrive. Our hearts go out to the people of Ukraine who continue to have their lives upended by this war. And uh, we continue to pray for its cessation. Awesome. That's wonderful. That's absolutely splendid. I am very pleased with the outcome. Mr. Tears almost come to my eyes just to know that these people really decide to give a helping hand and to help them to the best of their ability. Yes, because no parent is going to feel comfortable. No sister is going to feel comfortable. No brother is going to feel comfortable to have their loved ones out there in that war zone. And my heart goes out to the Ukrainians who is suffering through it. So I want to applaud those Jamaican persons who put together this and pull through, pull it through. You understand who orchestrate this? So, and that leads us to the reason they are in Ukraine in the first place. These students aspired for greatness, but they couldn't have it in their own country because of the cost of the studies. So this is something that the government of Jamaica or the Ministry of Education need to rethink. There are places where you have grants for certain programs. And when you apply for those grants and you get it and you go through the program and you get certified or verified or whatever the case may be, you just give back your service for probably seven years, five years, depends. So that's something the Jamaican government can think about. You know, it's just sad that it had to read social media for them to react or for them to act. But the positive thing is those students are making their way to Jamaica. They're en route and we just have to continue to, you know, keep them in our prayers as well as the people of 
Ukraine who are going through all that stress. So once again, I want to applaud all those persons who orchestrate the travel, the food, the hotel, all the provisions that they did for these Jamaicans. You know, that's absolutely wonderful. So once again, if you're new to this channel, you have not yet subscribed, go ahead, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. So you'll know when I have more videos like this. And also share this video, man. Share this video. Share it so people can see we go right back to our motto. Out of many one people.